morning. It is Monday, March 29th. And let's grab some cards and we'll see what is the topic of the morning. <laughs> Getting ready to leave for my appointment today, test the hearing. Somebody was asking if I had Meniere's disease, but no, it's a result of the Dama knife surgery I had because I have an acoustic neuroma tumor and they did the big radiation. And so that has caused my dizziness and my balance issues. Okay, so what we have here today is the call. Honor the whisper of your soul. We've got trust and we have enchantment. So how do these fit together? Okay. So, you know, we have to, if, if you're like the call and the whisper of my soul was to find the divine is. What is God? Who is God? What is God? Does God exist? Um, you know, that was my call. That's what I wanted more than anything from the time I was a young kid. And so that's what I trusted in, and it was a long, hard journey, but I did come to the answer that I was seeking, okay? Uh, so along the way, you may come through the um, enchantments, you know, especially on the Kundalini path. Um, if your desire is to know what is God and you have to know who and what you are and what you are not, you will go through a lot of the mysteries, the mystical uh, side of the, um, the path, okay? Uh, so you'll see auras, I mean, you're inside your body, you're out of the body, you're above the trees, you're, you know, you have all these mystical experiences so the thing is to stay grounded and not to get lost and caught up in the mystical experiences and wanting to collect cities or powers or something. Because the greatest city is the one when you go beyond the powers, okay? You go beyond that stuff. You let that behind. And you have to let that things behind if you're going to find out um, who and what. What is at the center of the universe? What is that power? What is it? Okay. If you're still chasing the manifestations, okay, the enchantments, the manifestations, then you're not going to get to those. They can be stumbling blocks all, along the way. Now, they're, don't get me wrong. They're wonderful. Um, being able to do the healing and, you know, seeing auras and all of these other things, you know, a lot of people, if you just want to develop those, okay, then you stop there. But if you want to know what is the center of the universe, uh, if there is God, if there is not, if you want to, you know, know that directly, then you let go of the other things and you keep going forward. Okay, so uh, watch out for the enchantments. Like I said, they're wonderful along the way. Um, first thing that happened with me when I started was being able to see the auras and everything. Okay, and being in a samadhi state for three days. And, you know, all of those things open up in these expansions. And then you feel, you know, you have the God realization. Now, God realization comes before self-realization. The God realization is, you know, pe people think that when it gets to that point that they're there, but they're not. Um, the God realization is when you feel 
like at the time I was uh, more following Krishna and Krishna was in everything. I saw Krishna in the dogs, I saw Krishna in myself, I saw Krishna in every being that, that I encountered. That's God realization where you feel the God essence in everything, but there's further to go. That's, that's not, you haven't come to self-realization, okay? Um, so again, you have to keep going. Trust the universe. Trust yourself to continue forward. Don't give up the search. Um, you know, everything can seem um, you know, up, to, up until the last second where everything uh, deconstructs. It can seem like it's going to take forever. It doesn't seem like you're getting further and further along. It, it sometimes, it just seems like, you know, you never know the day it's going to take place. Okay. And when it takes place, it's like, boom, it is so quick. Everything deconstructs. Okay. Um, so you just got to keep going. You got to keep pushing. You have to keep trusting and going forward step by step and you will reach. If, if that is your goal, to know the divine is, to know, um, the, I call it the pregnant void. When you're going through the journey, you go through a void. And people, you know, the dark, the empty space, that's not it. That's not it. You have to keep going because this is, although there is nothing to see, when one gets there, you don't recognize it with the five senses. It's beyond that. It's the pregnant void. It's pregnant with everything that will ever come into the universe. It is full, complete as it is. And, and that is what one discovers. It is full. It is complete. The divine is. And it is part and parcel of everything that is in the universe. Okay. And anything, it doesn't matter what uh, is encountered in the universe. It cannot touch that divine is. The divine is remains as it always is primal and pure, no matter what type of manifestation it seems to be going through at the time. Okay? So trust, trust yourself, trust and continue to go forward. Don't get lost in the enchantments. Don't be wanting to chase the enchantments. If your final goal is to want to know God, to get to self-realization and get off the wheel of the karmic drama. Okay, so much love and light and we'll see you online. Thanks for tuning in. I hope somebody's gotten something from this and I'll see you online.